Hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Mudslingers 843. Uh, today we're going to do a in-depth walk around of the 2020 Can-Am Defender HD8. Uh, first of all, as you can see, I am dressed for cold weather. This is not normal down here where we're at in South Carolina. We are on the South Carolina Georgia border. Uh, it is currently 23 degrees out, which happens maybe once a year and it happens for maybe about 48 hours. So today, uh, it's Christmas Eve. I wanted to give a little walk around of uh, our Defender. We're going to be taking it out in three days back to Savage Trails, which is a park in Pembroke, Georgia that we're members of. And we like to uh, spend our days or our weekends out there when we're not traveling around to Tennessee or other places like that. So first off, we're going to do a walk around of the couples there. So here we have the 2020 Can-Am Defender HD8 Max base model. As you can see, it is lifted. It's got a few aftermarket parts on it. So we wanted to give you a quick walk around of what we have done. Uh, as you can see, we've added a full flip down windshield. Right now it's currently flipped down. This is a Super ATV uh, flip down windshield. We will be replacing it with a flip up full windshield in the future, uh, but we wanted to try this one out to see how we liked it. It doesn't work too bad. Um, as you can see, we've had a few problems. The top there that holds the two pieces together, the glue has uh, come apart and it needs to be re-glued or put a couple of screws through to keep that hinge. It's just a plastic hinge. Um, as you can see, I tinted the lower half uh, just so we can get the couples therapy to uh, pop a little bit better. We named it couples therapy just because it's a little twist, uh, my wife and I just kind of like the saying and uh, it's something we like to do as a family. So uh, as you can see, we also have the Super ATV front bumper that is been powder coated by uh, me and Catastrophic Customs. Uh, it is the orange that comes on the 2022 XMRs and Can-Am Mavericks. Uh, I did not know it at the time, but I, picked the same color after I powder coated that, the uh, 2022s came out with that same color. So it just happened to match up. Uh, I have four super four by four lights on the front, two amber, two spots. Uh, we run them at night, mostly on the amber, but when we really need to see, we do flip on the spots. We also have the side lights. Uh, all the lights are pretty much off of Amazon. No particular brand that we've gone with specifically, just because we wasn't sure how everything was gonna hold up to the water. We do have quite a bit of uh, deep holes that we go through, so I didn't want to spend too much money right away. Uh, it does have a stock Super 8, or uh, Can-Am Defender uh, winch. You can see it's still mounted in the original position. Uh, we will be moving that up so it's higher out of the water. Uh, we can see we've got a Rhino 2.0 axle in there. That's what we replaced yesterday. Uh, the front axle, we broke that axle uh, three times now. Uh, just, I think the tire gets overextended and it pops that knuckle right there in the corner. As you can see, it does have the uh, two inch forward A-arms, high, high clearance A-arms on it. Uh, those were aftermarket put on by the previous owner. Uh, when I bought it, it was able to run these 35s on 22s, but uh, they did rub a little bit and it did have pucks in the, uh, as a lift three inch pucks, but I took the pucks out when I added the six inch Super ATV portals. Uh, these portals have had one ride on them. Uh, they worked great. Uh, I went with the six inch Super ATV GDPs um 45 percent gear reduction because it is an hd8 i wanted to get that better gear reduction i also am running a mutter clutch kit uh just to help out with gearing and clutch for the uh big bigger tires just uh, along with the steering we are running the whiskey throttle uh stabilizer arms as you can see there, they go from the front A-arms all the way back to the frame. There is a gusset plate welded into the frames with heim joints. And it's just to stabilize those front arms a little bit better to, because of the weight 
and the uh, portal sticking out there. So I wanted to reinforce the whole front end. It is running a Super ATV frame brace, as you can see there. We put that on when uh, one of the first things we bought after we bought this bike, the uh, Super ATV frame brace. Uh, these wheels and tires were already on it. They are 35s on 22s. Uh, they've got quite a bit of battle wear to them. We'll probably be upgrading to 36s or 37s. And I'd like to get a second set for more all-terrain because we do like to go to Tennessee and uh, we would like to start traveling out west a little bit. So a little less mud, a little more rock crawling or trail riding. Uh, as you can see, we powder coated the grab handles as well to match that front bumper. It does have a Boss sound bar in it. That was original from when I bought it. And then we just recently added a larger mirror. Uh, as you can see, we do have fans in there. Down here, we ride in uh, all year round. So summertime in Georgia, South Georgia and uh, South Carolina gets pretty hot. You know, we go out and it might be 100 degrees with 110 heat index. So we do have the kids out with us or just us. We like to have a little bit of air moving. They are 15 inch radiator fans. Uh, we are going to put a sound roof in here and mount those fans into the sound roof. That's why it's not cleaned up extremely well. And then there is also a module on the side there that I can control the speed of those fans. Put the grab handles in. Uh, we did upgrade our battery. As you can see there, it might be hard to see. We did upgrade to an Odyssey. Uh, which I did a couple of uh, Google searches and Odyssey seemed to be the best choice. It was rather expensive, but so far it's done pretty well. Uh, as you can see there, not much difference on the back. We are running uh, whip lights. Uh, they're just an Amazon brand. I am going to be buying some Nylites. lights. Uh, the Nylite brand has really impressed me. It's on a lot of my friends' bikes, so I think I'll be switching over to the Nylites. lights. We do have rock lights, which were part of the uh, whip package, and um, they're just not as bright as I would like them to be. Uh, we always like to keep some tools with us, tow straps, things like that, so I bought secondhand a Cobalt Toyota Tacoma toolbox. Fits very well. You can see it just barely lips over each side. Uh, we have bought some black paint, and we're going to be painting that black so it matches the entire bike does have the snorkel kit on it. I believe that's Super ATV. It was on there when I bought the bike itself. And as you can see, uh, we like to ride at night, so I wanted plenty of lighting. I've got side, rear lighting. We also run a chase bar at night because we uh, go out on the road sometimes and we wanna be safe. I am running S3 rear springs on the back and uh, they're not the two inch lift springs, they're just the heavier duty can-am defender springs are supposed to take away the sag of the rear end um, but overall it's uh leveled it out fairly well the shocks are not turned up very high just uh on the third notch i believe and uh, the ride is very smooth when i had the three inch pucks in there the ride was very rough and when we put those six inch gdps on I wanted to make sure that we had a nice soft ride. You can see we have the Super ATV rear bumper. Uh, that Just a little protection for our rear light there. Uh, bolts directly to the bed. When we wanted to put all the lights on, I didn't want to run switches down to the dash because of we've had water up over top of our dash before and I didn't want to have to run into corrosion. So the only switches we have down here are our headlights, which are stock, our four-wheel drive and our rear lockers. I did move all our switches up top here. You can see we are running a Voss switch. So I have the front bow lights. I just, we call it the boat because it's so big. So I kind of named everything off of a boat. The bow lights are just the uh, yellows. The spotlights are the front and side spots. Rear lights is the aft. Hazards is our uh, chase bar, which you can see there is also a chase bar controller there. We can change up what we're doing, turn signals and flashers and whatnot. 
speaker for the sound bar. The underwater lights is our uh, rock lights and whips, and then we moved our winch power up top and then our fans. So everything is run off of here, run through the roof and down to the battery. Uh, it's also ran through a pre-wired box as well. And that's really about all we've done to this particular buggy. Added a few stickers here and there. You can see we're members of Savage Trails. That's a nice Savage Trails sticker uh, member logo on it. Uh, and there's a pretty good shot of how it looks. Uh, it sits fairly high, uh, about knee high at the floor. As you can see, we've got a couple other bikes in here. This one next to us is sitting on 38s. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit taller. And then you can see my father-in-law's next to us is sitting on eight inch portals and 37s. So he obviously sits quite a bit higher than us. Uh, our next step with this bike is to do a custom roof. We're going to not be chopping the cage. Uh, my wife likes the height of the cage, so we're going to leave that alone. But we are going to do a flat aluminum or fiberglass roof on it, custom audio system, integrate those fans into the roof, and um, do a little uh, roof lighting so that we have a little light at night. The only thing in the cab for lighting at night, at night is this little... Uh, LED light that's uh, battery operated and it doesn't give off too much. So we really want to make that better. All right, guys. So that is a quick walk around of our 2020 Can-Am Defender HD8 Max. Uh, looks like we got a lot of good trips planned for 2023. We are going to be heading to Tennessee. We're going to look into getting an Alabama run in February. We're going to be taking the sleds up to New York and doing a snowmobile trip in uh, mid-February, so we're gonna get a bunch of great videos of that and we'll put them out there. So if you like seeing things from Southern Mudslingers 843, like, comment, share, and follow, and uh, we'll see you next time.